Hey, uh, I'm going to show you something. I had two of them. When I first said that I was going to sell this, I didn't realize I had a second one. I told Heidi about it. Heidi. A second pink cup. In the goodness of it, this was the one that I'd been drinking on camera and the one that people were like, oh, the pink cup, the pink cup. There was like about a month where I was drinking out of this, three weeks or something. And this is the one that I took to Burning Man. This is the one with the crack in it. This is the one that I saw in my cupboard. And I thought, oh, God. <laughs> I wanted to tell people I was going to sell my pink cup, but I have two pink cups. And I told Bryony about that. And Bryony said, uh, Sell them both. I think that's a little extreme. This really, I'm selling this cup because of what it meant to me at the time that I was using it and the whole timing of everything. I took it to Burning Man and on the trip to Burning Man I was in the car talking about that I had auctioned a cup and as I was talking about it, it fell out of the, the bag and landed in my hand literally in my hand and I was talking with it and I and I remembered when I was going through a lot of these things I was holding this in my hand a lot and it, I was developing a comfort with holding this in my hand the crack I don't know what this crack resembles the the destructive power of burning man the the used it's been used it's it's seen a lot of energy a lot of electricity I don't know literally what happened to it. It was stepped on. It was in my tent, and the winds were blowing, and like sand was in my tent. But I don't know if something fell on it, or if someone went in there to look for something and like put weight on it, or if lightning <laughs> magic did it. I mean, it wasn't magic. Something happened in the literal. I don't know what it was, though. I just came back to my tent, and it was cracked. And I thought, oh, shit. I'm fucking selling this on eBay. And it got cracked. And then I saw that it was selling for... Someone called, Megan, you called me and said that it was selling for $2,000. And I thought, like my stomach was beat, my heart was beating. And I, in my mind, said, this thing will sell. This will sell for $2,000. In my mind. I thought, it's possible. I was creating it. And then she told me, I thought, it's possible. I was still in Reno when I got the message. And... We were at a restaurant in Reno on our way back because my phone was off while I was there. I did no reception in the desert. And uh, so we came back, and I got on, and I thought, oh, this is amazing. This will be great. This will pay. I was in, like, such horrible financial difficulty at the time and readjusting to just me and Max being here. So the rent went up to 780 a month from, like, I was paying, like, 300 a month or something when there was five people here, and it went up to 780 and I so I thought, this will be great. This will be everything I need. I'll be able to get, like, pay off my, my debts, get things going. I can hire someone to come in and clean this house. I just got done cleaning the bathtub, actually, and cleaning the stairs. There's so much dust. I want to show you this. I don't have to write a story about it because you can see it. This is, like, not even all of what was on the stairs. That's really gross. Oh, there's so much. So dusty. I let this place go for a long time, but I'm cleaning it. Did the dishes. Max did a bunch of dishes today, then I did some dishes. Okay, I don't want to get too off track, because I want to keep this concise. Thice. Uh, talking about cleaning, talking about the money. Uh, oh, hiring a maid. Anyway, it was all in an attempt to make a little bit of extra money through selling something that was popular that I'd been using. Um, so I put it back up on eBay. I don't know if you know. I don't. Why do I say that? I don't know if you know. Some people know, some people don't. That's the way the world works. I put it back up on eBay. There's a day left on the bidding. If you want to bid on it, go for it. Check out my eBay page. All right, that's up. The red shirt is about to sell tomorrow. The red, the rose shirt. And I just got some things. My dad shipped me some stuff. And I'll show you what it is.
these are my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that I bought when I was 12 and I opened them and played with them and um, put them back in the packaging with their weapons and their items and put them, saved them and put them in the attic knowing that I would sell them one day as an investment. It was in like 1990, I think. These were being sold between 88 and 92, I think. This is Krang, the brain, the evil brain mastermind. I, I always liked Krang. I, it was kind of cheap, but I kind of like Shredder was the man. I don't have the Shredder toy. This is this Rocksteady package has taken a little bit of a beating. This is Rocksteady. He was one of the bad guys. He's a rhinoceros. Um, this is Splinter, who was the teacher of the turtles. Splinter, I only have his bow and his walking stick. I think he probably came with other items. Might have a, a, a shuriken of his. This is Grand Slam and Raphael. <laughs> with a, a baseball bat and a, a mitt and a shield. And then this thing, which I don't know what that is. <laughs> All right. So you've seen those four. I'm going to put them up on eBay. Uh, and then I have the other four turtles, which I will sell a little, like maybe next week. Um, I also have some comic books being shipped out here. I bought a lot of comic books in like seventh grade and eighth grade, I think. For a couple of years, I was buying a lot, like the original Spawn comic books. Like right around that time when Image uh, broke away from Marvel, Jim Lee and Rob Lee Field. Uh, Todd McFarlane, these, those, these artists and writers. Uh, Eric Larson, I think, was another one who did, what did he do? He did Savage Dragon. I think he wrote for the Hulk for a while. I have a lot of comic books. I took really good care of them. I read them, and then I put them in sleeves with, with cardboard backs, and I have them at my parents' house. He's shipping them out here, and then I'm going to eBay those. So if you're into comics, take take a look. You know, Keep your eyes open, because i got a lot of Marvel comics. I have a few DC comics. I have a lot of the early image comics, right when it came out, like Wildcats, Brigade, Young Blood. See, if you don't know what these are, you're going to be like, yawn, I'm just so boring. But know that it was part of my life. I really enjoyed reading them. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on them again and, and looking at them. These turtles have been really cool to see. I remember playing with these things and setting them up and looking at them. Okay, guys. I'll see you again. And I will continue to drink out of this pink cup now. Um... Sorry about the miscommunication. I was really ashamed of that another one appeared. I didn't realize uh, what the implications really, but this is the cup that you were looking at, that you were talking about, or that I was talking about. This is this is the one. This this is another completely different cup, which someone could buy for ninety nine cents. Someone could buy this for ninety nine cents, but it did get cracked at Burning Man, <laughs> which means essentially nothing, but it's something to me. There's also sand in it from Burning Man. I haven't, I haven't dumped it out yet. It's just a little bit. And I'll ship it all. Thank you for being part of my life. Hey, real quick, I want to explain why. Uh, I think the cups, what happened was that it went up to about $100, $100 bid, and then two people bid it up. One person bid it up to 400, then to 700, then to 2,000, and the buyer defaulted and didn't pay. It was, the name was I am Tom Serson, and there's a guy, Tom Serson, on YouTube. Hey, Tom, if you're here watching this, hello. I don't know that it was you. It could have been somebody using that name. Could have been one person using two names, but I think it was done with the intent to fuck me over or fuck with me, and like a ha-ha, you think you're going to sell a cup on eBay, which is so it didn't sell. So I'm going to repost it again, and... I'm humbled by it. I'm not expecting anything. Also, the way I wanted to tell you, the way that I pay for these turtles was uh, I, had a, I had a job walking a dog, buddy, this dog, for like three years, or two years, two and a half years, something like that, every day after school for a half hour, and I got paid $10 a week, and I made my livelihood through middle school that way. Okay, that's all for now.